Ah, uh, hello everyone. Welcome to week three of Die Party Demon Hunt. Woo! Yay! So, uh, <laughs> we've had some uh, changes in the cast, unfortunately. We've had uh, a good friend Nightcrawler drop, and uh, Aurelia is out for this week due to travel plans, which, you know, uh, was planned much in advance before we actually had any bear or saying on what he did. That bastard. So anyway, uh, as always, we got Brian, we got Rob, we got Sin, and we got Duck. And yeah, I guess uh, take it away, Duck. Um. Okay. Give it. Give us a wind up on what happened last week. Actually, I've forgotten. Oh, okay then. Yeah. So last time, <laughs> you guys had to go into a sinkhole and fight a bunch of rats and bugs, and you barely made it out alive, and you didn't even get to fight the boss at the end because it was just so hard. That's right. All those uh, bugs. Yeah. It was tougher than demons. Apparently, yeah. yeah. Because uh, <laughs> uh, those bugs. <laughs> anyway, um, but because of that, the uh, merchant guy that gave you the so-called task has awarded you with some gear, a lot of money, and he's letting you join him on your on your uh, quest to figure out about the demon gate or portal. Oh. Um, <laughs> so because of this, he knows that the only place where you can learn a lot about demons is the uh, communist empire of Warboid, or Republic, more like it. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what happened last week. Okay. Uh, so how far into the travel have we, uh, have we warped into? Are we picking up right where we left off last time? Uh, yeah, yeah, so I got my, uh, yeah, I got an intro set up for that, so. Okay, go ahead. All right, yeah, <laughs> currently you're all riding in the back of a wagon with the merchant, um, his stock is being pulled by arm by another wagon with armed men in the front. The uh, uh, wagons, though, are pulled by horses, not wolves, as it's uh, his own car or wagons that he owns. And they're pulling and trudging along the stone path with some of the dirt that makes mud, so it's harder to travel as there's it's currently raining very harshly. The clouds are now a teal color, and large blue raindrops constantly plop into the ground. You're about, I'd say, a quarter's ways from your travel, or to your travels. Or not the quarter, three quarters ways from um, to your travels. And that's it. It's a dark, it's kind of in the, it's in, it's dawn. All right. Uh, I guess, I guess the first question I have for you, Duck, is uh, would I be riding my own steed, Sweet Hams? Or would I be traveling in the back <laughs> You could, the but... It'd be much more preferable if you would ride in the wagon where you know you're not getting ran on. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I guess I'll be doing that for the most part. Um, and and so far, I guess it's been pretty uneventful. Yeah, it's been un it's been entirely uneventful. It's been raining for the past week as you guys move along to the uh, city. Mm -hmm. All right. And and just just so I'm clear, we're we're literally we're going to uh, hit up these, town. Hit, hitting up these damn commies because they have uh, some sort of information about the demon hole, right? Yes. Uh, do do we actually um, have a name? Like, did the uh, did the lady uh, sergeant urgent. tell us anything? Uh, like a name? Did we remember anything at all from that? The sergeant back in town. Yeah, because I remember she was saying like you can go here and find out more about the hole. So I was wondering if we actually got a name from her or not. No. No names. Just just that there's people over there that might like a priest or something. Was it? Would, did she specifically say priest? Is that what we're looking for? Uh, uh she said that there is there's prob there may be people over there that can help you. Okay, so we we <laughs> literally know nothing aside from maybe. Well, yeah. the, well, it's a maybe. Well, the the merchant. I mean, does the merchant know, that, like, or have a better idea of at least the right general location to where we could start asking people? Well, we're or three quarters he, there. We're not there yet, I guess, for the most right. part. I'm just trying to work yeah, out how much information we actually have. The merchant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The merchant's with us, so I mean, we can 
ask him, right? I guess so. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to ask the merchant then uh, and say, hey, man, so uh, we almost lost our asses fighting these damn rats and spiders or you get some friggin' coal. So uh, I think it's time that you hold on your end of the deal, and we like to be prepared when we go into uh, any situation, and we definitely were not prepared when we helped you out. So you better let us know at least some sort of idea about who we need to talk to uh, in order to figure out more about these demons. Fucking Elra taking names. Jesus Christ. That's right. I'm pissed off. Yeah. He uh, shakes his head. He's like, I'm really sorry. I, I guess I should have probably given you like some rope and stuff to maybe help you along <laughs> the travels. I didn't rope. know how deep the hole was. <laughs> maybe <laughs> some rope like, would have I... helped you kill all those bugs. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he says, um, he says, I do know uh, quite a bit about Warpoint and where you guys would need to be heading though. So you, right now you guys are on the right path. You see, Warpwood has one of the only three universities in the entire world that actually studies the demon magic. And so you would want to go to their university and specifically ask for the Forbidden School of Magic. Uh, the wing of it. It's not really a hidden wing. There, no one is really hiding about or hiding the, these kind of magics for. We can barely practice it ourselves. But... If you do go there, then they'll probably know more about the portal than anyone else, unless you go to the Human Empire or the Aishin Empire, which I highly doubt you would go to the second. Um, you seem to know a lot about this. I mean, are you are you regular in this town? He shakes his head. No, I know a lot about the uh, various colleges around this world, for I have quite a bit of family that are scholars, so. Makes sense. Alright, um, I guess, I guess, uh, oof. uh, during the time, I, I guess I would sort of get chummy with the guards for the most part, if I could. Um, so that, you know, maybe, maybe become friendly with them, maybe see if they would, uh, be willing to sort of, at the end of this travel, jump ship and come party with us, maybe. Uh, the guards are in the other wagon, so... Well, I mean, like, we'd stop at night and camp and stuff, wouldn't we? I mean, it's not like right, we sit right. in a camp the entire time. Right. Yeah. So, yes, on your last... Or, on your last night, you guys set up camp, and... It's all... It's along the side of the road. It's not really discreet. Sounds right. like a good place to stop. Is it still raining? <laughs> It is still raining, so there is no uh, great fire or anything okay. burning right now. Okay. Is the wagon big enough for sleeping in, or is it like some people sleep under the wagon, or like? The uh, merchant has plenty of tents that every uh, that has been set up, and he's just sitting on the log, and he has like a fire pit, but he doesn't have an actual fire. He's just waiting for the rain to die out. And I am kind of small, so I could always just curl up in someone's lap if they want. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so um, do we have other guards who are a part of this? Are they are they paid to patrol at night and stuff? Do we not have to worry about that at all? Or? Yes, the guards are all on watch. Okay, There's six of them, two of them take shifts. Okay, or three of them take. Shifts. All right. Well, for the most part, then I fucking eat, fall asleep, and yeah. Yeah, ready to go. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So yeah, the next morning, nothing changes. You guys hit back on the road, and by evening, you finally get to Warpwood. Now, Warpwood is a very interesting town since it is a very socialist society in a place where not even currency is available. It's filled with a lot of apartment buildings where all the pop lives. And if there aren't apartment buildings, then there are manufactories for them to work at. Uh, besides that, there's a few markets where they can get their their uh, their own kind of registered amount of food that they can have for their families, and the I guess it is and the roads yeah. are pretty well kept. They're clean but dull, as they're just brown stone for the sidewalks and gray stone for the roads. And they do have plenty of light posts set up to light the area 
for the early evening. I mean, because it is winter, so magical. The sun. Yes, yeah, so they are. They're all magical light posts. Okay. All right. Uh, before we part ways with the uh, the merchant, I I pull him aside and I'm like, do you, do you know if there's any gambling dens in this place? He shakes his head. And he's like, well, no, because these people don't have any money. If they're all going to play cards, it's all for fun. No currency involved. I, surely there's got to be somewhere where, you know, the the lowest of the low go to barter with something. He shakes his head. It's like everyone is kind of lowest of the low. Everyone's treated the same. Do you not understand what a socialist society is? No, no, no. Is? I do. I do. But there's 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 <laughs> pe there's surely people out there who have lower intentions than the rest. Maybe they're smuggling goods, maybe they're whatever. Basically, basically, I just want to fucking play some die. All right? That's what I want to do. He, and uh, I, haven't had, I haven't had that itch scratch in a very long time. So help me out here, man. He uh, kind of rubs his chin. He's like, well, uh, I, I really wouldn't know because I don't partake in that kind of stuff. All right, I just walk away before he finishes. <laughs> Fuck this, I'm out. Yeah. Alright, so I guess well, we make... Before I officially leave, he'll, say, he'll tell you that the uh, university is out to the northeast. Gives you a good cardinal direction. Is it easy to spot? Like, is it a... Is it like yeah, a... Yeah, pretty easy. Okay, so... It's like an actual campus. It's kind of weird that this communist place has higher education I'm not gonna lie that's that's really strange but higher right. education's a legit thing in, in communist states well they have, the same. okay <laughs> yeah like how you like who goes who, who learns from this establishment does everyone learn from this establishment or is it uh, only people with like natural abilities for learning like how does this it's work? kind of a merit it's kind of a meritocratic thing okay you have to actually prove it, so because you have to be like worthy of doing it. All right, makes sense, I guess. All right, uh, so um, no inns or anything like that. There's just like sleeping bunks. There are inns, but there's not like places to sleep because everyone has their. Okay. Oh no, there are a few places to sleep because they do have adventurers coming by. All right, and uh, what time is it right now? It's early evening. Early evening, okay. So about six. All right, so we should probably try and find a place to stay for the night before we do anything in particular. Um, did you guys have any preferences on types of locations we're looking for? The seedier think, the better for me, if it. anything. Yeah, I was say, I think uh, we should find an inn. Maybe Basically nothing with back. fucking Japanese pillows on the ground, please. For the love <laughs> of God. Yeah, no, they have chairs and shit, so don't Thank worry. Thank fuck. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I go to an inn with a chair. <laughs> <laughs> the first inn with That's... a chair, we stop. Yeah. Alright, you guys go into an inn, and by the time you do get there, it's about uh, 6.30, and everyone has gone home from work. Or a lot of people have. So there's a lot of kind of uh, animalians walking around. They're mainly uh, uh, elves that are also twisted with wolf or wolf, deer, or bear. Or, and there's very slight foxes, but it's pretty... Anyway, they, there's no one like, dressed very highly, of course. Everyone's kind of just, not necessarily in rags, but poor clothing. All right. Um, so, so what type of establishment have we walked into? Is it, is it sort of... Like, do they have scales of... I assume you guys are... Yeah, uh, so... Is is it a nice place? Is it a shady place? Like we just basically walked into the first one we found, right? So, uh, if you just walk into the first inn, it's probably just an easy going place. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, let's let's inquire about board and get some grub in our gutters and see what's well, up tomorrow. Like, do they have any sort of reaction to us? Because I mean, we've got two huge atopians, a uh, a shady looking gambler, and then a tiny. Well, they don't know I'm a gambler. They don't. Know that. Well, you don't yeah. even know that. You don't know I'm a gambler. I have, I have, <laughs> I don't know. I, I have, I have my, uh, I have my guesses. <laughs> hey, now that sounds like gambling to me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Maybe you're um, the gambler. They are a bit, they are a bit puzzled, but they don't actually like make any 
movements. Like some of them don't even speak your languages. So. No, wait, is commons not normal in this area? No, they. Oh, they mainly have their own language. All right. Uh, okay. Um, that's interesting. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I go up to the barkeep, inquire about lodging, and see if we can get something on the on the cheap. Um, he kind of walks at you and he says, "Hmm, I don't really think." It's like, well, he says, "Hmm, I guess I could give something to foreigners, but you're going to have to have a kind of a. We don't take money. You're going to have to kind of have." A Can we prostitute out the ferry? Are you guys into that shit? <laughs> he shakes his head. He's like, no, th we don't. That's illegal. Well, it's not illegal so to get caught. Does he, want us, does, does he want us to do like a favor for him, or does he want like some sort of goods? Or what Here, do I, here's what I'll do I'll trade you this gold, right? <laughs> for some lodging. Yeah. It seems like a good barter, doesn't it? All right, so he, he wants you. something of, of value, right? How the fuck do you... How, do, how the hell do you get into an inn with, like, without money <laughs> in exchange for something else? All right, uh, what do you guys got? I, I, I pull out this light medium crossbow and I go, is this good enough for everyone to stay the night? And... He shakes his hands and he's like, no, 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 you don't understand. See, people who come to Warpwood or Minier or Frosthelm, they are usually on a their own quests for our leaders. If you don't have a task, we can't really give you anything. Oh, we have a task. I, it, it's just... It's on the down low, right? <laughs> there, there's a reason we're here. There's, do, you, do you think uh, these people would gather together for any particular reason other than this task? We all have our own skills. We're all here for a reason. I, d I just can't tell you more about it. He, he nods. He's like, okay. Like I said, you can have an IOU and talk to one of the uh, people up in maybe a town hall or a gathering and figure out what you can do. But for now, uh, but for now, we all serve you just the standard stuff everyone else gets. Me, potatoes? <laughs> he just he just said be quiet. So so just so I guess right. So if we take an IOU from this guy, he'll let us stay. Um, yes, you'll let you guys stay for no charge. But all right, I pick up I pick up my my bags and I walk outside and I plunk myself on the doorstep and I just sit there. <laughs> Well, I say we take his IOU and... I, ain't, gonna, I already owe enough people real money. I'm not going to owe someone fake money, thank you very much. I'm outside with Clive and I say, hey, look, we'll just take his IOU, stay here for the night, and just never fucking come back. We tried to get him. Well, we, we don't know how long this will take. How many how many IOUs can we burn in this, in this shithole before we can actually get somewhere? Well, I mean, if you're prepared to sleep outside on the doorstep... Hell yeah, I am. I'm going to make it a difficulty for him to run his business until he gives us some business. <laughs> he just gave up some business. He said, here, give, have some room, but da-da-da-da-da. I told you him know? we're on, a, we're on, a, we're on a, a secret quest, you know? Like, we are. There's no lying here. It's just forging a little bit of what it actually means. But that's besides the point. We are here on a quest... We don't have no fancy slip of paper. I can get some crayons and write it on a fucking piece of parchment if he wants. But we're here to do our business. He doesn't need to know that business. Alright? I'm going to sleep on his fucking doorstep. Okay, that's fine. I sleep on his doorstep. Roll a d20 for what, how much what? I sleep on his doorstep. <laughs> it doesn't cost shit. What do you other? What What does the other three do? I'm gonna stay at the end. If If you want to try and claim a debt from me, you can. You can go ahead and try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about uh, you, Tom? Uh, uh, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll sleep in the inn as well. Uh, I'll let okay. I'll let Clive have his pity party out on the front step. Pity party, motherfucker! Uh -huh. I will busk. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I will get so much money out here. <laughs> and I was soon realized I had my mic turned off. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, oh, yes, I'm going to stay up in. You can do your sleeping on the stairs routine. I sleep on the stairs. Oh, okay. ben, thank you. I sleep on the All stairs right, and my so, character uh, goes up by 20 points. It's great. <laughs> so, um, you know, about three hours later, there is a couple of bear, uh, bear elf guards. They have rifles and they kind of kick, they kind of kick Clive awake with the rifles pointing. It's like, what the hell are you doing sleeping at the stair or the porch of the tavern? And they, and they got, they got the rifles pointed at me. Oh yeah, big rifles. Uh, I say with, to, I say uh, to you know, them, I say to them, I'm on a fucking adventure. And I like sort of, says, I roll over and point my back at them. Uh, <laughs> they don't really even say anything. They take the rifles with their uh, offhand. They just grab you by your uh, armor and start dragging you. All right, let's do a reverse constitution check here, because I weigh. Wait, I don't weigh actually very much. I don't have very much gear. <laughs> Wait, I you can try and get an escape artist, but... Yeah, alright, let's try that. Let's try doing an escape artist. Why not? Fuck it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> or you just accept it. <laughs> and I'll be like, I'm, a I'm in a communist state. I can do whatever the fuck I want. That's how it works, right? <laughs> No, nah, I just I just take it. It's fine. We just take it. Okay. They drag you into the guard barracks and they put you onto a uh, chair. Uh they still have the rifles pointed and say, "What are you doing here?" As I said, I'm on a quest. What kind of quest? The quest that doesn't mean anything to you. you I kind of like well, rub the sleep out of my eyes and like uh... <laughs> That's pretty interesting considering you were trespassing on the tavern keeper's porch. Uh, well, he offered an IOU to, like, sleep in his, uh, fine establishment. But, uh, I decided that an IOU is not something that I want to have right now, so I slept on his porch. Well, It was actually quite comfortable until you woke me up, by the way. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> I need at least and eight hours of sleep, IOU? motherfucker! No, I don't say that, but anyway, go on. <laughs> and what he meant by an IOU, I mean, he means that anyone who's a foreigner to our glorious republic has to go to one of the, to one of the consoles and take a task. There's many, wor there's many work to be done as uh, we've been having some troubles along the countryside. I, I kind of just sort of yawn, and I'm just like, eh, all right. What do you, what do you want? What, why are you telling me this? I was happy sleeping on the side of the road. Sorry. Because you're not allowed to sleep on the side of the road. <laughs> Who made that rule up? I thought this was a I thought this was a free nation of like people doing whatever they want. That's what a communist is, right? <laughs> One of them are getting is getting pretty steamed, and he has like his hand up. He's just slapping you across the face. He slaps me across but then the, the face. But the other one pulls oh, no, him off. Okay. No, he doesn't. The other one him off before he loses control. He says, "Look, want to stay here? You have to work. That's how it works." But I didn't stay in his inn. Actually, it's not his inn, right? I mean, he doesn't own anything, right? That's how this works. So I was sleeping on. No. But uh, the Republic owns the tavern, and since the Republic owns a tavern, and we don't want some vagabond sleeping on the porch, vagabond. you don't get to sleep on the porch. <laughs> Alright. Is he speaking common, by the way, or is it like... Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, he, he can... Yeah, you can hear him quite fine. Okay, alright. Uh, well, then I, I just go, <clears throat> am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. Why not? What are you arresting me for? We're arresting you for trespassing. Trespassing? It's a city. I don't see how that works. Yeah. Listen, we make the rules. You're the foreigner here. What makes you think I'm a foreigner? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, they just kind of face on their paw going into their face. Just, oh, God. Is there a... Okay. And one okay. of them uh, to the other. Am I sitting on a chair? What's around uh, me? Tell me what's around me. Give me... Pay me a picture. You are, uh, let's see, you're in the 
front room, like the lobby. So there's some uh, bunk beds, and so there's bunk beds on the side, and you're sitting like in the hallway, mm -hmm. and they just have a chair right there. All right, is there anything around there's me within a reach? Door in the back. Yep. And there's a door in the front. No, you can't reach anything. Everyone, there's like three guys with rifles pointed at you, and two other. Wait, they're pointing rifles at me. Up. God, all right. Yes. Um, I I want to I want to fiddle back. with like I want to start fiddling with something on my bot on my person, you know, just like out of boredom, sort of thing. Are you talking about you want to masturbate in front of the guns? <laughs> no, no. I want to fiddle with like a buckler or something like that on my arm or something, you know, just sort of like like a buckle, uh, like a buckle, yeah, or like a a button or something like that. Something that you know, I'm just like, uh huh, yep, cool. You know that. That's, oh, okay. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So the guard, uh, you know, a more a guard, like an officer guard, he does come up at this point, and this guard's a wolf. He's a wolf elf, and he kind of pushes the other two bear guards aside, and he asks, ah, "Listen, you have two options. You can either leave here or be arrested." Well, and then, then I choose to leave, and I I just stand up <laughs> and I start walking out the door. <laughs> Like <laughs> he he stops you and he's like, no no no, I don't mean to leave this city. I mean to leave our nation. Your nation. We'll cart you out of here ourselves. Hmm. So, so does the arrest have any food? What's going on there? <laughs> the what? Is it is it like a? Do I get to sleep on a bed? Do I get food? What's going on? Tell me about that. You sleep on a stone floor and they give you some bread. Well, that doesn't sound very appealing. Bread, bread. They give you like a bowl of rice. Why would anyone take that? I'm just gonna like scratch my chin a little bit. And I'm like, yeah. I, I, uh, you, you you're, you're, you're not giving though. me very many that. options here. Like, okay, so to give you an idea, uh, Wolf Officer Man Dog, uh, I came into this town. With a bunch of people, my my companions in travel and adventure, we're here on a quest, uh, a quest that uh, you know I'm not going to go into too much details here because, you know, it doesn't really.